Shimai. Today we're going to return to the coppice that we did actually six months ago this week uh, just to see how things are growing, see how things are coming along. Um, now if you remember coppicing is where we cut things, cut trees down to the ground and let them sprout back up and what comes back after a few years is really useful for, for lots and lots of different purposes. Now a lot of people, when I cut this down, because um, it's right there alongside a road, um, had a bit of a complaint and, and said, you know, I can't believe you've cut all the trees down. So hopefully this will put people's um, mind at ease. It's, it's a coppicing is a, I mean, it's, it's a really old practice of um, sustainable wood management. And, and hopefully we'll, you'll get to see now exactly why it's so good. Um, it might be a bit shaky and a bit wobbly because I'm going to have to walk through here whilst holding the uh, whilst holding the camera. And at the end of this, what I'll do is um, I'll attach the the previous video that we did back in the winter of me actually coppicing through this area. So this is where I think I set up the camera when we did the time lapse, looking down through this little area, and it's greened up amazingly. Um, one of the first I cut down was this hazel here. Now, as you can see, it's very clear that it hasn't died. There's what we call the stool down there. And all this fresh growth, just, you know, it's, I'm going to say in six months, but it's not six months because the growing season doesn't start immediately, does it? Um, and looking really well, looking really healthy. And and one of the benefits of coppicing is it opens up the, the understory through here so the light can get in and you end up with an amazing array of plants that will come up. You've got the speedwells, beautiful flowers through there, nettles, don't mind nettles, you've got some hogweed through there and again up on the bank another hazel that's coming really well got docks and all of this understory all of these plants that come up benefit the um, benefit the wildlife and there's so so much through here there's a, a nice tall dock there that's going to be that's fine and as we work our way through there's a, a silver birch there now this one was looking a bit straggly so I left that one it, I, I wasn't convinced that it was strong enough to to cut down but as we move across here, it's great to see. Here we go. Another hazel come in um, up on the bank there. If we work our way back up the bank, and you can see everything that's coming up through. And there was a tremendous amount of um, wild flowers up on this bank. And in fact, you can just see the, the remains of some of the, the cow slips. There's, there's some there, but here, in fact, we've got a sneaky little ash that sprouted up there, right next to the alder that we coppiced. And lots of this coppice I've already used. I've been making bism brooms out of it. I've been making um, lots of bean poles and pea sticks. So in the garden this year, um, I've not needed to buy anything. Everything's there and I've given some away and this, it all gets used. Made some charcoal as well. There's another hazel coming up. You can see the way they sprout out of the out of the coppice stool there, and you can just see the array of different plants. Here we are, lords and ladies by there. That would have already flowered, and like I say, everything under here adds a different element to the to the wildlife that will um, come and inhabit the area. But it's great to see, and actually, there's so much of this growth can't see everything that's sprouting up. There we are. More there. Another one there. Silver birch. Another silver birch there. Coming up. And the birch, if you remember, make the bism brooms. Fantastic. You can just see them pushing up through there. And what happens with this, this under, well, all these um, plants that come up that turn this area green because last year this was all shaded so there was very little growth underneath the, the shade of the trees this year obviously there's a lot more and this growth pushes the fresh coppice growth to grow taller and if I come back through here there was some um, willow doesn't take any persuading to grow but you can see the willow and somewhere down in there there we go 
just there, there's the stool, and you can see the amount of growth coming off the willow. Great stuff. And as I work on through here, there's more and more. I did push in a bit of extra willow in. So literally cut it and pushed it into the ground. And you can see how that's taken there. Brilliant. Now, I don't know if you can remember from the previous video, but this was the big hazel. And you can just see how that has come on to grow. And there's even an oak tree. There we go. There's the oak. The interesting thing with this is that the oak, something's obviously taken a bit of a, a fancy to that and nibbled the tops off. Now I did leave a few, so I left this oak here to continue growing and a hornbeam over through the back. Now this is an interesting plant here and this with the massive leaves, you can see the size of it, is burdock as in dandelion and burdock the drink. So they would use the roots of burdock to make the drink. And on through here is um, another hornbeam that I just cut the top out of that one just so we'd come slightly differently, more of a pollard than a coppice. But you can see how much growth has come on through here. And this will continue to grow now through this, the rest of this season into next year. And we'll let this grow back for, for a few years and then we'll coppice it again and the cycle continues. But you can see how everything has grown back. It's not killed, it's not dead, and in fact it will come back stronger. And like we've said before, these coppice stools kind of outlive, if, if the coppice is done regularly, outlive um, the age of the tree itself. We'll just have a quick look up here because there's lots coming up here. So there's a silver birch there that's coming really well. You can see that through there. And another silver birch by there, coming really well. St struggle up this bank. And look at the strength of the growth on this one. Amazing, amazing. So there we go, the return to the coppice. Great to see it growing, great to see the amount of wild flowers and wild plants growing through there. Fantastic. So there we go, a brief return to the coppice. It's great to see everything growing. And like I say, it's good to actually prove that this is a system that works. Like I say, there was, there was quite a few question marks um, by people walking by when, when they'd seen I'd cut it down. And, and there was a lot of comments about what a shame it was. Um, I'm hoping they'll see now as time progresses how this all sort of uh, continues to grow and grows strong. And, and it won't be until the winter now, until all of the rest of this lower wild stuff dies down that we'll be able to really see how well they've grown. You can see that they're already getting higher than the, the plants um, around them, and you can see that they're doing well. So uh, I'm looking forward actually to, um, to a few years time when we can, when we can coppice again and, and use everything from it. And just spotted this one right by the side of me. Look at that one coming, great stuff. Another little hazel there, but look at the growth on it. You can see what it's doing. I've been very fortunate though, I think, in that um, there's not been any rabbits damaging them this year. So so there we go. What I'll do now, I'll um, see if I can attach the uh, the previous coppice video so you can see how we got to this point and see what it was like previously. And, uh, and there we go. Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining me. See you soon.